Not knowing what it was, but it was flat good. Amen. Hallelujah. I just wanted to say a word while he's getting his song together. Yeah. I was in the Southern Baptist Convention filled with the Holy Ghost. I didn't get my standards when I became an independent. I had my stuff together. Woo! While I was in the convention. That's why I'm an independent because they booted me out. But I've got God give me mine. He gave me mine when I didn't even know what independent Southern Baptist was. I just had what we talked about tonight. My heart. My heart. Can I say another word real quick? I don't want to take that. I just feel up sitting here. I've been filled up. I want to not say this and might be getting off. I ain't going to say it. I'm going to say it. When I got filled with the Holy Ghost, I'd set up Brother Marion. I'd wake my wife up at 2 o'clock in the morning, crying, short of what God showed me in the Word. I wasn't a preacher yet. I just got right with God. She'd, she'd say, say looky here. She'd say, that's good. Leave me be now. <laughs> now this is what's going to get you now. I'd go back to the kitchen, 2 o'clock. It's say one morning, many mornings. I'd pour me another cup of coffee. And I'd light me up another Marlboro. Oh, I know this is gonna this is gonna stop you. You say, how could he been filled with the Holy Ghost smoking Marlboros? Because see, I was filled because I was giving God up to that point anything he wanted. He just hadn't said anything about Marlboros yet. But he was sure getting me faithful at the house of God. He was sure getting me faithful in tithing. He was teaching me to give to missions. Oh, I was learning a whole lot hiding my Marlboros when I go soul winning. But there did come a time about six or eight months later, he tapped on the Marlboro pack. Hey, this is what the Holy Ghost said. You like what's been going on so far? I said, I do. He said, then you give them up. Yeah. And I'll just keep on working. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, I was filled with the Holy Ghost because I was giving God everything He wanted. And up to that point, you said it, not me. An emptying. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I emptied. Yeah. Whatever He said to empty. Hey, hey. Now I'm not saying it's, I'm not condoning sin. But this, this thing about being filled with the Holy Ghost got people confused. Yes, sir. That charismatic crap confused them. I've had some of my old guys get saved in years past. Know nothing about God. Get saved and come to church, chewing tobacco. My biggest shadows. But I watched God in time begin to take it away and clean them up. They still shouted. Their testimony got longer. Their glorious countenance got brighter. I just want to say it's good to be filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm now 70 year old now. And I've been praying all night. I've been praying a long time. Keep me close. I want to finish right. I'm not smoking anymore. Not that sometimes Baptists don't drive me to want one. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm telling these kids right here where you are right now. Where you are right now. I, I didn't even know any of this stuff. Just God help me. I didn't know any of this stuff. But I did know one thing as I look back now at least 50 years of being a preacher. I look back now and I see what God done. 
what God done for me. Amen. You can be filled with the Holy Ghost. You don't have to wait. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 You're never going to be perfect. We make it feel like sometimes we got to be perfect. No, you don't. You just come to where you're obedient to God right now. Amen. Yes, Let God handle tomorrow. Yes. Sir. I didn't mean to preach. I ain't preaching. I'm testifying. Amen. 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 Thank you. 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 Amen.